Hello YouTube and fellow sports cards collectors, this is Eric J and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to do an opening of a different product than I usually do. Um, this is for a box of 2019 BBM Rookie Edition Japanese League cards. So this is a box that my brother picked up for me while he went to Japan recently and uh, gave it to me. As a, as a gift from his trip, so it's, thank you to my brother. Really cool uh, uh, gift. Um, apparently there are 15 packs in this box and eight cards per pack. And the set has 117 base cards and some insert sets of some sort. <clears throat> Reading through some blogs to get a, a little bit of information about this set since I don't follow the uh, Japanese league at all. Uh, this is apparently a set where 104 of the cards, the first 104, are for draft picks from the October 2018 draft for the Japanese league. Um, and then there's some sort of drafted players list card at 105 I don't know if it's a full checklist or what. And then we got some um, some cards here for early days uh, subset, which is a, apparently some current active players. Don't know if they're younger, older, or what. But that's what I know about this set. Um, since they're talking draft picks, I imagine that uh, it's going to be a year or two before we know if anybody in the set is really good. Um, in addition, I'm sure there's a player or two in here that uh, we may eventually see in the United States Major League players. As we get a few Japanese League players uh, turning up from time to time. Um, the two names that I saw on this blog that I was reading were for um, Akira Neo and Koyota uh, Fujiwara. I hope I said those names correctly. I don't know if those are players that have that had some hype going into the draft or what. Um, didn't look up order <coughs> who was drafted first, second, third, or whatnot. But I'm gonna open this up and see what we find because I think those will be pretty cool. I've never had any Japanese league cards. My the first ones I've ever gotten. So. Let's see what we get. Well, that's there we go. Don't know how many of these I'm gonna open in this video. I guess it kind of depend on what I see, what I stop on, and what draws my eye. is a little bit different than this is pull a few of the cards out and a few of the packs out and put the box off to the side for now. I can't read Japanese, um, so I don't know. Just scanning over the English portions of this to see if there's anything I can tell on the pack. But nothing that stands out, so let's open the first pack and see what we find. Shimizu. Huh, neat looking cards. These look different from <laughs> you know what I'm used to seeing. So we have an early days card for um, Toshiaki Yoku. Um, 
infield. It's the back of the card. Giants, uh, Yoshia Matsui. My brother, when he was over in, uh, in Japan, did go to a couple of games just to see them. Um, I don't know which teams he saw. He mentioned to me that uh, um, he watched the team that uh, um, Nori Aoki plays for. Nori Aoki, I remember watching when he was with the Brewers uh, a few years back. Yukiya Saito. The Tigers. And the players of the Golden Eagles. And the Giants. Cards are shiny and they feel nice. <laughs> um, fortunately, I don't know a ton about any of these individual players, so that's that's uh, going to be a research project for me is uh, reading up on some of these guys. Um, you know, that's part of what I enjoy about uh, baseball cards is you know running across players I'm not that familiar with and you know learning a bit about them. Of course, I've gotten along history of looking at American players and or Major League Baseball players since they're not all American <clears throat> and learning about them when they get to the Major League level I don't follow the minor leagues here that heavily outside of uh, knowing the play you know some of the players in my team drafts since I follow the Brewers that's you know some of their prospects the Golden Eagles player can see uh, birth year 2000 so you know 18 year olds that were drafted Dragons. These cards look to me like stickers almost. You know, with the way that uh, they're cut and the circles around them. Kind of interesting look that don't see you with, uh, or at least I haven't seen too many of the MLB cards produced here. These inserts like that one or that subset, a little bit nicer looking card, but who knows? Don't know which of these players are gonna gonna pan out. not saying many of these players names at this point because I'm not a hundred percent sure 
that I'm pronouncing them correctly. This is a card I saw a picture of on one of the blogs that I was reading about. I don't know. Again, don't know anything about the players. Another pitcher for the Swallows. One of the things I want to look up is what, uh, you know, where on here it tells where they were drafted. If it's here or elsewhere, you know, what number they were drafted. Um, so that's going to be a research project for me after um, this video. Or if anybody knows, you uh, just leave a comment. Uh, that'd be appreciated. Um, you know like being able to see cards that haven't seen before. <clears throat> this looks like a duplicate of the same card. It's okay. It doesn't that doesn't look like order drafted since that number is the same <coughs> on most of these cards it looks like well this one's numbered out of 37 to 100 so some sort of insert set or parallel I think we'll open one more pack now and then uh, do another research and be able to come back and open a few more of these videos with uh, perhaps a little more knowledge. Um, since you know, I can go digging around to meet up on some of the players and you know, so, some of the uh, uh, English language sources that might have more information about the players I'm looking at. Another early days in subset for the the carp. We'll move that other insert card down here, or parallel card. for the Tigers and we got a rookie of the year 2018 that Kazuki Tanaka and there's some numbers I can recognize games 105 at bats 403 18 homers 45 RBI Go ahead and sleeve this one. You can put a sleeve on this one too. This is some sort of parallel. Number to 100. 
So these are the cards I got. Um, if there's any players that you see in here that uh, stand out, please please leave comments about them. It'd be helpful to me. I'll do some research as well to uh, to see what I find. And I'm gonna save uh, some of the other packs I have to open later. Um, it's also possible that I'll keep some of these packs uh, that I got sealed just as a um, you know since it was a gift for my for my uh, my brother and it's for. You know, packs I'm not likely to um, to get with any frequency. And some of these are just kind of cool to have uh, hanging out in my collection, you know, in sealed form. So, we'll stop here with uh, the opening. If you enjoyed uh, watching this video, please leave a comment, leave a like, even subscribe to the channel if you wish. We'll be opening more of these in a future video when I know a little bit more. Again, we got 2019 BBM Rookie Edition. Here's the couple of the cards that we found. Um, and we'll stop here and look forward to chatting with y'all in a future video. Thanks now and bye.